to another side-by-side -side comparing five video games that were on both the Sega Dreamcast and the PlayStation 2. I won't be getting into the hardware really in this video. For that, please watch the first one I did. I'll pin it down in a link in the comment section below. One thing I will repeat however is that the PlayStation 2 is a better console. It is more powerful and it can outperform the Dreamcast. That doesn't mean the Dreamcast sucks, because it doesn't at all. The Dreamcast's superior resolution is what makes so many games look better. I do believe if the Dreamcast's controller had two analog sticks, it would have been more successful. Well, without further ado, I present you the video. The first game we'll look at is Looney Tunes Space Race. Initially released 2000 for the Dreamcast and later ported to the PS2 in 2002. Space Race is a kart racing game much the same as Mario Kart, but without the polish. I actually never even heard of this game until now, and it wasn't too bad. I also really enjoyed the cell shading graphics, as it really fits the aesthetic of Looney Tunes. The PlayStation 2 version decided it wanted to be different, so they changed up the colors and the background TV screen. On top of that, the main menu is different too, and overall more boring. I prefer the fun look on the Dreamcast side. The character select screens are completely different as well. The PS2 has them on their vehicles, while on the Dreamcast, they just stand there. Once in the game, if we zoom in on Bugs Bunny, he looks worse on the PS2. Take a look at his whiskers, just bad looking. The checkered line is nice and crisp here and blurry over there. Look at the track. The color green and purple on this radioactive sign are very muted. The boxes here look way better versus here. If we look at the free bird seed sign, it looks like free dirt seed on the PS2, but the acme on the boxes is more legible on the PlayStation 2. Lastly, the laser exhaust on the space cart looks different. I personally prefer the look on the Dreamcast. Overall, I do think the Dreamcast wins this one. Next up is Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. Released for the Dreamcast and PlayStation 2 at the same time, October 23rd, 2000. The text is just so crisp on the Dreamcast, but not terrible on the PlayStation 2 though. Not much to say here, obviously. The Dreamcast looks better on the character select screen. And that's due to the resolution with the VGA adapter. The announcer is a lot bigger on the PS2 and more blurry. One thing the PS2 does have over the cast is the TV screen actually shows stuff. As far as I know, the Dreamcast never plays anything on that TV screen. Yeah, yeah, PS2 is blurry, but the boxer does have his bandana swaying here and not visible on the Dreamcast. Also, the rope colors are different and there are no people for some reason on the PS2. The loading time on the Dreamcast is so much longer, at least on this game. This is the only game I tested it on, but hot diggity damn it was so long. I'm not really going to show more on this game. Overall, the Dreamcast just looks better, but I do think the PS2 does offer some better improvements overall. Now, 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 PS2 guys, this is where the PS2 takes the lead. That is the game NFL 2K2. Developed by Visual Concept and published by Sega. What really fascinates me on this one is that they were both released the same day on the Dreamcast and PlayStation 2. This two Dreamcast boards were rushed, whereas this one was coded properly to utilize the PlayStation 2's power. I mean, look at the differences of these helmets. The reflection is amazing and the detail inside the helmet is great too. It's so bland on the Dreamcast. It's also funny that the stats of the 49ers and Patriots are different between the two consoles. The Wilson logo on the football looks better on the PS2 and the PlayStation also says loading while the Dreamcast does not. The introductions look different as well when the game starts. Look at the quality differences on the players. Very blocky on the Dreamcast and smooth as butter on the PS2. Here's another example. It's pretty night and day. The PlayStation 2 takes the cake. The players on defense on PS2 show more detail versus the Dreamcast. Same with the offense. Look at number 44. Just so much better here. Let's zoom in. Just more detail overall. I do believe the PS2 version is by far the one to play. Better in every way. The next game is MDK2, which was developed by BioWare and published by Interplay Entertainment, you know, before EA Games set to BioWare. 
Your soul is mine. Released in 2000 and later ported to the PlayStation 2 in 2001, but retitled MDK2 Armageddon. Looking into this game, I felt it was a tie. Both have ups and downs. The font looks more legible on the PS2. On the next still, I believe the PS2 looks better. The smooth colors look good versus the blockiness on the Dreamcast. The steel grate here is better versus here. Actually, it's really bad on the PS2. But the PS2 looks better here. The floor is more visible and very blurry on the Dreamcast. The background is slightly better on the PlayStation 2 as well. If we zoom in, you can see the lines get blurry on the Dreamcast, and you can see the individual bolts on this pillar on the PS2. The next scene, the bookcase and map are better on the PS2, and slightly better hair quality on the old man on the PlayStation. While running down this path, the floor is different on the PlayStation 2. I'm not sure if it's better or not, but the main difference here is that there's shadows on the Dreamcast and there's none on the PS2. On this scene, you can see they changed the floor to a metal grate. Looks better in my opinion. But the planet just looks so awful on the PS2. I know, I'm gonna say PS2 a lot, and Dreamcast a lot. Get over it. When free falling, the clouds just look horrific over here. What is going on? Look at that sweet detail on the Dreamcast. They made it all boring and brown on the PS2. They removed a lot of detail on the background on the PlayStation 2 and no shadows. Kinda sucks. I know what you're thinking, how is it a tie? Well, it's because the controls on the Dreamcast are the worst thing in the world. The PlayStation 2 uses the dual analog sticks and it controls like a dream, like any modern game. The simplest tasks like jumping were so hard to do on the Dreamcast. God. Damn, I hated those controls and I tried every variation and they just all sucked. The last game I want to dive into is Quake 3 Arena, released in 2000 for the Dreamcast, which also offers online play and the use of a mouse and keyboard. But wait, there's more. If playing online, you could play against PC players over the internet as well. A year later, it was ported to the PlayStation 2 with the new title, Quake 3 Revolution. At the time of its release, the PS2 didn't have a modem or broadband capabilities, so this bad boy offers zero online play, nor does it support mouse or keyboard controls. The very first screen grab, you can see the differences right away. The Dreamcast looks better in my opinion. But on this spot, the PS2 gets this pretty awesome skeleton hologram in the tube and some radical neon lights along the ceiling. The portals are different too, transparent on the Dreamcast and boring gray on the PlayStation 2. But the grate behind the portal is better on the PS2. Once you walk through the portal, you'll see this door. The Dreamcast is so much more crisp, but they're also mirrored, which I found odd. Not much to see here, except the draw distance on the Dreamcast shows off some better detail and some. there are some color differences. I don't know what to say. It looks better on the Dreamcast is all I got. The PS2 port is a solid version, but the Dreamcast one is the way to go, as long as you use the mouse and keyboard controls. As stated earlier, the PS2 is a much more capable console, but a lot of Dreamcast ports were just either rushed out the door or the dev team just didn't know how to properly utilize the PS2's hardware. You'll never see a Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and definitely not a San Andreas on the Dreamcast. Anyway, this was another 5 games compared on the Dreamcast vs PlayStation 2. If you have a game you want compared, please consider becoming a YouTube member elite, where you get to pick any game you want and I have to do it no matter what. Anyway, please do leave a like and subscribe if you feel I've earned it. Have a great day.